Hi. Hey. Today I'm going to introduce you to three non-alcoholic Bulgarian drinks that you must try. Yes. The first one is Boza. I know you've tried it, so I'm going to ask you what you think in a second. But just to say that Boza is a slightly fermented drink which is made of wheat, actually. It's quite thick mm -hmm. and it's very sweet. And yeah, what do you think about it? Uh, yeah, I've had it once or twice. One second. So the policemen, they also want an increase in the salary. They also want... Um, it's definitely an acquired taste. Yeah. And like Marmite, you either love it yeah. or you hate it. Absolutely. I don't love it, but I don't hate it, contradictorily saying. Um, Same here. Your mum likes it, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there is a, an old... When you said my mum, I don't know why I thought about it, but there is an old saying in Bulgaria um, that it helps um, grow your boobs bigger. I don't think that's true, and I don't think how it's related. I haven't drunk much buza in my time, so you don't need to look at my boobs. <laughs> it's usually eaten um, in the morning with a piece, uh, a slice of banita, which is a traditional Bulgarian food, and it's made of pastry and cheese, so the combination is very nice. Have you mentioned Iran in your drinks? Iran. I haven't yet, but it's on the list. <laughs> so Iran is basically made of yogurt and water and it's a very refreshing cold drink that can be drunk. It's usually drunk in the summer, but I drink it all the time, even here. Um, and I sometimes put a little bit of salt and a little bit of lemon juice and it's even more refreshing. It's really tasty. The reason why I asked if you've got I I Iran, mm -hmm. Iran, I mm -hmm. keep saying Iran. <laughs> Afghanistan. I run on your I keep yeah, the, anyway, the reason why I asked if you got that is because you said that um Buza is usually drunk with panitza, but you said that I run. Yeah, with... I mean I prefer it. So if you depends what what kind of a mixture you like. Buza is very thick and sweet and banitza obviously because of the cheese is very salty, the feta cheese. Yeah. So the some people like the mixture of sweet and salty and I I like it sometimes, but if I have to choose, I'll probably choose salty with salty. So I have the salty kind of ayran with the salty banitza. Alright, yeah, I like ayran. Um, I don't put much salt in there, but it it's not how you would expect yogurt and water to taste. Because mm. I'll be honest, when, when you say yogurt and water to me, with lemon and a bit of salt, it sounds disgusting. <laughs> but it's nice when it's mixed up nicely with a bit of ice. I'm the first person yeah. to put my hands up and say I was wrong. It yeah. was, it's quite nice. But the way you're drinking it is the traditional way, just with water and ice. Mm. It, you know, the other things are, some people add them, mm. you know, but the traditional way is just try it at home. I mean, you can buy natural flavored yogurt from anywhere. So try it with some water. And the next drink is compote. Um, it is considered as a winter drink, but you drink it all the time, don't you? I drink it whenever it's gorgeous. Very sweet, gorgeous. Very sweet, yeah, yeah. I sometimes actually, my grandmother makes a sauce with that I add water. Yeah. Which you're not supposed to do, but. Are you? No, well, no, because you're supposed to mix it in a way that it's properly, you just open the jar and you drink it. Oh, okay. But because it's too sweet for me, I just sometimes add water. But basically, mm. what compote is, it's um, water with fruits and sugar and it's um, you know put in a jar which is made airtight it's sealed airtight mm -hmm. and then it's boiled in these big I don't know what they call them like so because m many people in Bulgaria still have uh, houses in the villages mm. they actually pick up the fruits from their own gardens nice. and in that garden they have these huge um, places that you can boil Cauldron? jars I guess so yeah like which yeah but yeah not not all witch stuff, but you, you boil the jars in there, and then you leave it to to um, what do you call it? Ferment. No 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 no. You just leave it to uh, get cold. Okay. And you put it in your cellar, and when it's winter, you have a nice drink, a nice like a juice drink, and you have the fruits inside as well, like an added bonus. Okay. So it's 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 really nice. I really love it. Yeah, I like it too. I always thought that um, you were supposed to dilute it anywhere because I thought it was like a concentrate. No. It's very <laughs> thick and syrupy. Yeah. That's just how your gran makes it. Yeah, my yeah. gran really likes it sweet. So out of those three drinks you just mentioned, uh, Boza is the only one that's not homemade, is that right? Yeah, I'm not sure how, it, because it's slightly fermented, I mm. think there is a more complicated process. Can you buy Aydan and um, Compot. Compot from the shop? Yes, yeah, I mean, Iran and Buza, you can buy them, um, as, as I say, because you eat them with banita, you can mm. buy them in those kind of Gre Grex types of bakeries mm. or everywhere. Uh, but compote, uh, since recently I've seen it 
um, you know, I've seen, for example, in the Bulgarian shop in our city here, mm -hmm. it's not made in a jar, it's made in a bottle mm -hmm. and it's a little bit expensive, but that's the whole idea. Yeah, you can, in Bulgaria, you'd usually make it yourself, your grandparents would make it. Um, you wouldn't buy it from the shop because then you can just buy juice, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just a traditional kind of a homemade juice drink. <laughs> Definitely worth trying, all of them. They're nice, maybe, apart from Boza. Yeah. <laughs>